Hey everyone, Tyler here at The Movie Beat, back with another video. Hope everyone is enjoying the Netflix film, The Call, out there. And for those of you that were struggling with the ending, I hope this video will help you uh, better understand how I and others, this is not just my opinion, I want to give a big shout out to Sean from the comments section for giving this take on the ending, which I think really best explains the interpretation of how you can go about looking at this ending here. So uh, first of all, let's begin with this one is going to have a lot of spoilers. So if you haven't seen the call yet, uh, a lot of us loved it, including me. So go out and watch that first. So uh, let's get to it. The ending of this film was a little bit confusing and it might have required some rewinding and maybe I should have done a little bit more myself before giving my first main opinion about the ending. All right, so let's get to the main meat of the ending here and beginning with the climax. And that takes place in the big house. So at the end in 2019, uh, present day Soyeon is running from uh, Young Suk, who's the adult. This is her older self. She's had her whole career of criminality. As you can see it in her face. She's pretty disturbed. She's running with, after her with a knife and she's stuck in the room. So the other timeline from 1999 has the younger Young Suk, who we're all used to from the entire movie, running after Soyeon's mother in the house. So she's already taking care of that policeman and the younger Soyeon is also present in that house. So in the 2019 timeline, when the older Young Suk is about to kill Soyeon and she suddenly disappears, we have to assume that the tumbling over the ledge of both the mother and the 1999 Young Suk killed young suk because why else would she have disappeared in her future self so here lies in what happened so when soyeon sees when 2019 soyeon sees that her mother is no longer on the phone something obviously must have happened so she immediately runs into the to the police station she runs to the graveyard what's going on trying to get up to speed and she comes upon that gravestone so uh, I said it before, but I'll say it again. Big thanks to Sean in the comments for pointing out the name on the tombstone as well as the date specifically. I was originally looking at just the birth date, but it is the death date that is very, very, very important. So when 2019 Soyeon has her dad come back to life and everything's magical and wonderful again, and he suddenly disappears, uh, unfortunately, because this vengeful Young Suk from 1999 is trying to get some revenge and so when the father disappears in the car that death of he, of he's him being no longer in 2019 it's because he actually died uh that's when soya uh, young suk excuse me murdered him in 1999 and so that would correspond to his death date of december 11th and that makes a lot more sense because the the tricks that Soyeon tries to catch Young Suk in when she's looking on her phone and trying to get her to blow up in that uh, greenhouse explosion green yeah the greenhouse that gas explosion that happened in late December so that was after her dad had died so that makes much more sense that the tombstone was her father's in the end that that last shot when she's looking and she starts crying so we have this final call where the younger 1999 Young Suk links up with her 2019 self. So she did not die falling over this balcony. And somehow, we don't know exactly what transpired, but that advice of leave the phone on at all times when you when uh, that policeman and the mother show up at your house, somehow that information was able to help future Young Suk keep her younger self alive. And so Let's imagine that after the mother and Young Suk fall over the balcony edge, maybe the mother gets up and is able to save her daughter. And they get out of there, and then whatever time later, because when Young Suk wakes up in 1999, the mother is no longer behind her, and she's up. So we have to assume that that knowledge from her future self helped her survive. And once we as the viewers find that out, we go back to the graveyard, her mother is there, she's got the cuts, so that actually happened. She saved her daughter, she was in that battle all those years ago. But the future uh, Young Suk, who was able to keep communication with her 1999 self, 
was somehow in that time able to change the past and so somehow was able to get to the mother eliminated her we don't know how she killed her but she is gone that's why the mother will slowly disappear as Soyeon and her are walking away from the graveyard cut again Soyeon wakes up she's covered in that cloth she is being tormented by the present day 2019 disturbed crazy beyond belief young Suk. so oh my god what a turn of events now the interesting thing for me is how uh, young Suk really turned her whole situation around she was the one who was tormented by that kind of faux mother uh, shaman lady in that house and now she is going to play tormentor and oh my god it's going to be a tough 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 ride for Soyeon and how she gets out of there so I think if there is going to be a sequel it could perhaps uh, go into the time that Young Suk actually linked up with her future self what happened there I think there might have been a lot of help that her future self gave her so she could have this life of criminality life of crime we could see from her, her apartment she had all of those stolen purses it looked like a serial killer's home so she probably had a lot of help her whole life and maybe in a sequel Soyeon could link up with her future self I don't know if we could have another like we can go much farther into the future or she can link up with her past self uh, maybe we can still keep it in 2019 and 1999 and uh, but that would require her child self really helping out so it's gonna be really interesting if they decide to do a sequel I'm actually happy with it as it is right now but I would not hesitate watching these two actresses go at it for another round um, again thank you so much to Sean in the comments section I hope you don't mind me uh, sharing your interpretation of the ending but I do think it is the best explanation for the ending of this film uh, so thanks again for watching let me know what you guys think in the comments below uh, what was your interpretation what questions do you have hopefully we can get as uh, everything cleared up as much as possible and uh, thanks as always please like and subscribe if you want to see more like this as always i'm tyler at the movie beat keep watching movies